The Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, we'll call it TPP for short, has now seen the UK join. And it will see Brexit Britain entering a trading bloc made up of 11 nations now constituting over 15% of global commerce, the same as the 27 EU member states. A mix of Commonwealth states, Asian and South American countries it includes behemoths like Japan, but our friends like Australia and Canada, and developing countries like Peru and Malaysia, where there's real strong economic growth. CPTPP slashes tariffs on at least 95% of goods between members, and the bloc's projected to make up a quarter of the globe's GDP by 2050. At that point, the EU is protected, projected to make up only 10%. So it's set up as a real opportunity for us to trade and to make progress in the Pacific. And we'll have to see what happens with countries like China and, of course, the United States, which are also interested in this bloc. But critics have already begun wailing, which is perhaps in itself a Brexit benefit. They're claiming we should just stayed in the EU if we were going to join another trading bloc. But this isn't like the EU. First of all, as I've said already, it's a fast growth area where the EU is sluggish. But the TPP will not pass laws. It's not looking to have a political union. There won't be an unelected body that decides how we're regulated. And it won't have its own central bank or its own currency. We're not going to have to adopt the yen in years to come or the Australian dollar. And it won't have freedom of movement. We will be remaining subject to our own immigration laws. There's no question of ever closer political union, and there won't be a national anthem and a flag and all the titbits that have gone with the European Union. I mean, if they did want a um, national anthem, they could always have rule Britannia, but they're not going down that route. Now, critics have said that there was a Whitehall forecast that suggested growth from TPP would only boost our GDP by 0.08%. But this forecast is from a gravity model, and the history of gravity models is pretty poor. Uh, Andrew Rose of um, UC Berkeley used the very same model to predict that Britain's trade would grow for 300% from joining the euro. He then revised it to say it would be a little under 200%. But nonetheless, of all the silly forecasts you could have made on a gravity model, that was one of the silliest. Actually, trade boosts every country that adopts free trade and always has done. This is an enormous opportunity, but it will also embed divergence within the UK, so that the chance of a future government taking us back into shadowing, copying the EU, becomes much lower because we've agreed now to have freer trade with a big and growing economic bloc. This is really exciting, and the chance for economic development is enormous. But as always, I want to know what you at home think. Please get in touch. Email me at mailmog at gbnews.uk.